Next example, we'll be showing the dilation lag, typical of a Horner syndrome. The lights are now turned off, and you can see the right pupil dilates quite fast relative to the left. Normal pupil should dilate in about five seconds. Sympathetic defect in the left eye, you can see that it takes quite a bit longer for that pupil to overcome its defect. Another example, lights on, lights off. And notice how that right pupil springs to life and that left pupil just sort of lags behind. It takes about 10, 15 seconds to catch up. And that's a nice way to document a Horner syndrome. Here it is, lights are on. Now with the lights off, see that right pupil just spring to life? And slowly that left pupil will catch up. You can also document this by taking still photographs. For example, in darkness, take a photograph at 5 seconds and 15 seconds and compare the degree of anisocoria. Here's another example. And you see how that left pupil just sort of springs right up. The right pupil takes a while to catch up. Lights back on. Mm -hmm. Notice how the noise adds to the sympathetic drive and accentuates the initial anisocoria. Now here it is, both eyes in light. And I'll turn the light off. equal. Let's try and center it uh, the tooth.